So in my last video, I showed you how to not pay your TV license completely legally and hassle-free. A lot of people were asking, well, what can I watch then if I haven't got a TV license? So I thought I'd make this video so you can all know what you can and what you can't legally watch. So if you go to the official TV licensing website, as I've got behind me, but you probably can't read it, it says, you don't need a TV license if you never watch or record programs on any channel as they're being shown on TV or live TV or internet service and you don't download BBC programs. So they're being dead clear and all they're saying is you can't watch live TV or go on BBC iPlayer. It's that simple. So if you have Sky Plus and you record things as it's being broadcast, you know, when you hit pause or record on your planner, you can't do that. You need a TV license to do that. If you watch any BBC programmes, whether you let's say you watch EastEnders and you watch it on telly, you've got to have a license. If you switch to watching it on iPlayer, you still have to have the license. But you can watch so much stuff, and in five years, I genuinely do not miss. I just don't miss anything BBC. I just don't care for it. I just don't care. I don't watch it. So I'm going to show you what I do watch, uh, how I watch it, and how I save money watching it. So the easiest way to watch TV without getting it through your telly aerial is to get a streaming box. There's loads out there. There's the Amazon Stick and a couple of others. The one I've got on behind me now is the Now TV box. And I quite like it because it's dead cheap. You can buy the boxes for like a tenner now and they normally come with a month's subscription. And Now TV is Sky TV. It's owned by Sky. So everything you get on Sky you pretty much get on Now TV. All I would say is when you do have a pass for Now TV, you can watch live TV in there. And if you watch the live TV, the live channels, you can have a TV license. If you go into the sport and you watch a live football match, you've got to have a TV license. So just be a bit careful of that. But a good thing about the box is it gives you other stuff, as you can see on the screen there. You've got ITV Player, you've got Channel 4, you've got Channel 5. And these are all free. You can just go in and out of them and, and watch them as you want. You can even watch YouTube on the thing. It's great. So I fully recommend that, and I'm going to show you in a bit how you can save a few quid on your subscriptions for that. I never pay full price for my Now TV subscriptions. I'll show you how I do it. Now, I subscribe to two services, two that I pay for. So I pay f normally for the Now TV movies, so we can watch movies on demand, and I also have Netflix. The only reason I do Netflix is because it's, well, it's built into my telly, look. That just makes life easy because it's quite good. But Netflix is crap for films. There are always terrible films on there. But TV's really good on there. There's loads of stuff you can watch. And I spend hours going through different box sets. See behind me, BBC content. The Office, famously made by the BBC. Don't need a license to watch it because it's on Netflix and you're paying for it that way. If you watch it on BBC iPlayer, then you need a TV license. But any BBC content that you find on a streaming service like Amazon or Netflix or on Now TV, perfectly legitimate to watch. But Netflix is alright, give it a go. You normally get a month's free trial. Um, you can always get a second one if you've got a second email address and a second credit card. If you've got a few email addresses and a few credit cards, you can get half a year of Netflix for free if you want to muck about doing that. It's a fair trick, a lot of people do it, it's quite good. Uh, the main way that I tend to watch whatever it is I'm watching is this way. Now I had an old Windows laptop kicking around from years ago really when I changed to my MacBook. Um, I thought rather than giving it away I stuck it in a cupboard under the telly, put an HDMI lead on it, bought a lovely little remote so I can use it from my sofa and I watch stuff on that. So this is the main way that I watch it. I watch a lot of YouTube and a lot of Vimeo and then just the, the on-demand services on here. I tend to use this for the on-demand services more than I use the Now TV box. I'll just go onto Channel 5 on here or, you know, Channel 4 on here and watch it on demand that way because it's just easier to find things for me. It's just how I prefer to do it. But for most people, the Now TV box is the way to do it because that's how complicated it is. It's a lot easier, isn't it? So my mum prefers the Now TV box to doing it this way. Uh, I also said I was going to show you how I save money on my TV subscriptions. Uh, I told you a good Netflix trick that a lot of people do. I've run out of credit cards and email addresses now, so I can't do that anymore. But this is a good one. So if you want to use Now TV, the entertainment pass gets you all Sky One and Discovery and all of that that you can watch on demand. You get a movies pass and you get a sports pass. Um, 
I never pay full price for them, ever. I think the movies is $9.99 a month now, and the entertainment's $7.99 a month. So it's not a massive rip-off. But what I do, pop along to eBay, have a little look. Just type in Now TV Pass into eBay. And you see, look, two months of movies for $14.49. We can do better than that. Two months of movies, $9.99. Uh, two month entertainment pass, look at that, £3.85. So this is a good way to do it, I tend to do this, so when my pass is about to run out, I'll just pop on eBay and buy another one. Uh, all that happens is whoever's selling it just sends you a code. And then you go onto your Now TV box, you go into vouchers and you type in the voucher code that you just bought off of eBay and you're in. You get whatever you pay for and it works just fine. So that's where I get them from and it saves me you know, a lot of money. I've always got Sky Movies on and I've never once paid the 9 99 a month for it. So it's quite good. So hopefully now you're a bit clearer of what you can and can't watch. All you have to do is avoid live TV. So don't watch live TV through Freeview, don't watch live TV through Sky, don't watch live TV through Virgin. They can't detect you doing it because as we said before, uh, the detector vans are complete nonsense. They cannot tell what you're watching unless they see your telly. But if you're gonna do it, do it legally. So don't watch any live TV. Don't go on BBC iPlayer. Everything else, you're fine. As long as you're not watching it live, you're not on iPlayer, everything's fine. Now I know there are some other streaming services, some subscriptions and boxes that you can get that give you all the posh channels, you know, all the pay-per-view channels for free. My friend's got, uh, I think it's an Android TV box and he's got a couple of dodgy apps on that that give him all the channels in the whole world. But one, that's not legal, and two, you need a TV license, you're watching live TV. So I'm not gonna recommend any of that. So stay legal, do it right, and just enjoy not paying the fee and enjoy watching TV without giving the BBC any of your money. Again, if you have any more questions, do drop them in the comments below. I was pretty quick with all the comments we've had on the last video, and I'll try and do the same again for this one. Thank you.